It's done on fire and we're checking out the curb. I love this place. You know, it's so different when you do walk into Park Street these days. It's quite an empty spot. But, you know, let's keep our spirits high. So one day when things are all sorted, they will just be a buzzing place again. Today on the show, I am going all the way to the US. Actually, I brought the US here. Uh, I have Cynthia. Now, one of the reasons why I'm featuring her is that she's making big waves on TikTok, on Instagram. She's a makeup artist uh, who is based in the US. Uh, she came here for her sister's wedding and I was like, I need to so get this girl on the show because I think her energy is fabulous mm. and it's always good to introduce new people to you. So. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. It's my honor. Oh. <laughs> so, Cynthia, um, you you were born in the U.S. I was born in Canada. You were born in Canada? Yes. All right. And then you moved to the U.S.? Yes. I moved right over. When I turned one years old, we moved over to the U.S. They were just waiting until you were one. Mm -hmm, basically. Or <laughs> done. <laughs> 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 so, uh, tell me. So, you are originally from Jaffna. Yes, yeah. I am. And it's the first time I've ever had a Jaffna channel. Oh, on yay. the show, yeah. It's the first time. About time. It's, it's, <laughs> you saved it for the best, you I know? Sure. <laughs> Talk about it. This show might just take a long time. Uh, so tell me about you. Tell yeah. those who are watching us uh, a little background about who you are. She was also, she has already done one interview for a magazine here. She's, she's news. Yeah. I'm not. I'm nothing big. Okay. Um, I'm 22 years old. I'm still a university student. I'm in business, HR, and labor studies. I do makeup. I don't think I'm the best at it, but some people call me a professional makeup artist. Right. <laughs> but uh, honestly speaking, COVID is the reason that my career started. Oh, okay. uh, I wanted to always become famous. I love talking, and I'm like, I need to make money off of this. You know, I somehow, this gap somewhere, needs to be paid. exactly. Like I talk so much. I'm like, there's something I can do with this, or become somebody, but. I, I, I feel like my morals are really strong and I want to push that out into the world. Like, I'm dark and I'm beautiful and I'm big and I'm cool. Like, and I think everybody should think that. So I, I'm, I don't, I'm unapologetic. I don't care what anybody thinks. And I was like, let me just put myself out there. COVID hit. I was like, I'm doing nothing at home. I'm yeah. going to lose my mind. Like, we were stuck in the house. TikTok was something happening and I'm so old school. Like, I don't know how to edit. Right. I don't know how to use my phone too much, but TikTok was one button, you know, you start, hello, and then you finish, hello, and people, that's all I did. I would be like, okay, before makeup, after, after makeup. makeup, and they'd be like, oh, magic. <laughs> so then I started to do that every single day. I'm, you know, what I'm learning these days on TikTok, how to put font in different places. And it's, it's like you're like learning from school or something, there's different effects. You, I don't even know. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> and people always think they're like, "Oh, you're the TikToker. How do I do this?" And I'm like, "I don't know. Google it." <laughs> yeah, I should like, do that. <laughs> I should do that. <laughs> like, I might Google it to the side and then yeah. tell you. But you know, um, uh, what else? So uh, that's how you sort of took off. Yeah. I so took you it always from there. knew that you were good at what you did. You knew how to make yourself transform into this. <sighs> I wasn't confident in what I did. I always thought like, okay, I want to be a makeup artist and I want to post online, but I, I'm starting off. Like, I'm not the best I can be. So I was like, okay, let's just practice at home. But then I, I came to the realization, like, I'm never going to just become the best. I need to start somewhere. And I, if I record myself here, a year from now, when I see the videos, I could be like, look, I got better. Yeah. And then from there, I'm, every day I'm taking a step at a time. To this day, I walk out the house. Sometimes I'm orange. Sometimes I'm really dark. Sometimes I'm white. And I'm like, you see, it's called, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's a little trial and yeah, error yeah, prayer, yeah. like it's you just, know. It's just a practice, bro. Yes. Makes perfect kind of a thing. But mm -hmm. here's the deal, you know, uh, this this term called influencer is, I think, the most abused word mm -hmm. in the world. And you know, sometimes you feel entitled as an influencer. You're like, I'm mm -hmm. an influencer. I was thinking, <laughs> if I can dine here, I'm free. <laughs> and then your reply is like, who in the world are you? Yes. And that's embarrassing. I think your work needs to speak for itself. Of course. And I think that's the most important thing. How is the whole influencer or like doing content on social media thing in the US amongst the youth? Literally the word influencer, I try to stay away from it as much as I can. And yeah. most people from the US, Canada, I would say are like, oh yeah, we see the negative connotation behind yeah, that. True. Because content creator, it, you get more respect for that too. And yeah. that's what I do. Content is what you watch. And I produce that. Like some of it is really, really like serious work where it's like six hours of work. And some of it is really easy where I'm like, today I brushed my teeth with Colgate, you know? <laughs> it can be something really simple. So. And what am I influencing it? In a way, yes, I do get it because a larger audience is watching me, but creating content is like so much better way to put that. Yeah, and is it a big thing there? Like do people feel entitled when they're like, oh, I'm an influencer, I need to get this free? Yes. 
hundred percent. I feel like there's a 50, 50, to be honest. There's those few people, no matter how many following there, like I follow, there's 50 people who are following me and I'm an influencer and I post everything I do, like give me the respect. And then there's some people who are like, they have millions of followers and they're just living life and people follow them because they're just yeah. showing them their yeah. followers, how they live. Okay. So there is that, I think, double standard. Brilliant. So, uh, you know, in Sri Lanka, I think Colombo is mostly the central place for this whole new mm, type yes, of living to sort of come yes, forward. Yes, yes. Uh, so, which is a great thing. And I think if you can influence someone in the right way, go for it. It doesn't oh, yes. necessarily need to be about a product, but it of can course, be about something. Of course, exactly. Else. It's not always like, use this shampoo because it's yeah. good. It's more of like, let's all try to recycle some more. Yeah. Or like, use sustainable clothing. Like, there's so many small things that we can do in our lives that can just be better for everybody else. Yeah. So we're going to take a break because when we do come back, we're going to speak more. Uh, Cynthia is Jaffna Tamil and for those who are Jaffna Tamils who are <laughs> watching us, you will know there are certain words that when Tamils say, it is just so Tamil. <laughs> you cannot break it even though she has lived in the US and was born in Canada and her English is very American. There's always this one or two words that will just make her Tamil wherever she is. I think, I'm like, that it just girl, turns on, that yeah. girl is... <laughs> is from Jeff. Now, we'll speak more about it, of course, when we do come back. Do stick around oh, after this, because mm, we have starters, and I really want to get into it. Uh, all thanks to our friends. Uh, we'll see you after the break. Uh. Welcome back. We're talking to Sylvia who has come all the way from the US uh, just to like catch up about local talent doing things internationally, which is a great thing. Uh, there's always a little Sri Lankan gene there, so I'm trying to like keep that going. Uh, so I wanted to tell you when we went in for a break, there are those certain words that are like so uh, Jaffna Tamil. If you are a Jaffna Tamil, you will realize it. However much you try and Americanize it, you'll never get it. <laughs> um, so I'm going to just ask her to say one thing. Three wheeler. What do you say it in? Um, how do you call it on your TikTok videos? Auto. <laughs> <laughs> do, do other people not say that? It's auto. Oh. Aut, it's auto. Or we call it trisha. But uh -huh. you say auto. auto. <laughs> 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 That's how it's always like auto. Everybody kept commenting that. And I was so confused. I'm like, what's wrong? <laughs> now say velavatta. Velavatta. There you Let's go. See. I feel like now I'm gonna pick up on <laughs> yeah. your, the way you're it, saying we it. We always say velavatta, but uh, I know anyone who comes from Jaffna says Yeah. Like however much that's a tricky word. Uh, what are the other ones I heard you say? Tippy <laughs> dippy. Uh, <laughs> I knew you were going to bring that one too. I just had to say it before you yeah. did it. Her favorite snack in Sri Lanka has become tip tip, uh, tippy tip and it's like one of our things. Um, mm -hmm. Have you had it before? Before when I came to Sri Lanka but never anywhere else. And you went in search of it. And you yes. always called it tippy tip. Yes, no. tippy tippy. Tippy tippy. It's like, There's no I after tippy tip. But that's how we call it, tippy tippy. Yeah, oh, never mind. I guess the Japanese Tamil, you just had to pull your words. <laughs> Put the you little pull, tune in there. Yeah, we sing our words yeah. at this point. <laughs> that's true. So um, let's speak about, uh, you know, something that I wanted to speak about is the fact that, you know, whole color issue. Mm -hmm. uh, I think you live in the thick of it all in the US. Uh, here, even here, girls and boys are so forced to like believe in like fairness creams and being a lighter shade is always nicer. And you know, in marriages, they say, oh, is she fair? Yeah. Or they'll always say, she's a lovely girl, but dark. Mm -hmm. That but dark yeah. is not, there's nothing wrong or less about it. What are your thoughts on it? To some parts, whenever like whitening creams or any treatment comes up, I always think like 
to be honest, when I was younger, fair and lovely, yes. Yeah. Why? Because every time I went outside, people would be like, "Ida konjam porungo," like you'll look better, you'll look better. Yeah. And everybody wants to feel better; they want to look better. So you think, okay, to look better, you connect the dots. I have to be lighter. Yeah. So people who do it, I don't blame them because yeah. it's outside force yeah. that's forcing them to do this. And they because they when just you're born, you don't see something wrong exactly. with you. Exactly, yeah. you're taught to believe that something is wrong with you. Right. And then in America, there's like that. Uh, oh my God! Like let's let's all be amazing. Let's love our skin. And on social media, it's great, right? Mm. It's all, like everybody is beautiful. But then there is that reality. Like you walk away from social media, but like people are still like, oh yeah, but is why? Is it the Sri Lankan so community, or is it like even the people even with the Western mindset? No, I would say everybody and anybody coming from like islands too. I have like Guyanese people, people in Asia too, just like Chinese, Japanese. Even them, when you think of them, you think of a lot like a lighter skin tone person. And they want to be lighter. They want to be even lighter, and they're, they are. are are facing the same type of like discrimination we are when we're here and we're like oh you should be a little lighter it'd be better like it's around the world it's yeah. still happening as, as sad as it is yeah but it's like a huge problem because i think because we come from a tamil family mm -hmm. and it's such a issue like you know um you when you're fair you seem to have everything opening up for you and it's just and also when you're a dark girl it's like Oh my God! This is the end of the world. There's no marriage. There's yes, no future. Yes. There's never going to be someone. Yeah. And that's why I think it's so important when you have those people to be like, okay, look, I'm dark skin, and I can be on a magazine cover, and I'm a darker skin person, and I can be on on TV. Look at Hollywood movies. Yeah. All of the main actresses are always light. Yeah. And it's like that's like the production. They have to do something about it so that society can change overall. Because like yeah. we can talk about it, but sometimes our like one two cents is not going to make as big of a difference as a bigger industry will. Wait. Please, <laughs> please. What is Hollywood next to what I'm doing right here? Oh, <laughs> they might be watching this show. You okay. never know. You know, but again, I I will take that back. Isn't it is one step yeah, at a time. It, everybody does make a big this difference. This is our little step. Yes, yeah. but it, it can be even bigger. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So um, you got into this whole thing, and you have been working through. How do you handle negative comments? Because TikTok is a wonderful place. Gosh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Comments are so uh, brutal. Huh. Um, I think I once did this uh, video where I had to dance, and I, oh, it was so bad. Like I just like I looked at those comments, and I was like, oh, yeah. I thought I had rhythm in me. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to my rhythm? <laughs> it's it's at first it really does like I can be like oh it doesn't bother me. Some of it does bother. It some of the, it hurts you a little bit, and you're like, see why do you have to say that? But then I always think back to like. Who is really writing this? Like, is it you? No, it's some like weird boy sitting in a room and typing it, and his mom is yelling at him in the background, yeah. or some girl who's like your friend who like, oh my god, you know, I I hate that she does this. It's somebody who's like insecure, 100% somebody who's insecure about themselves or society that they have the free time as well to sit mm. there and comment all these negative things on your page. Me and my sister do this thing once in a, like once a week. We sit down and we read the negative comments together and we laugh yeah. the whole time. We sit there and laugh and laugh and laugh like because it's. We read them in funny tones, and it's like there's nothing better to do than laugh at these comments. Because if you let them affect you, you're just never going to grow. Yeah, and it's just it's just going to be a constant thing, mm -hmm. even if you like it or not. All right, just to let you know, we are checking out uh, Park Street Muse. Uh, you can come and enjoy some good food here. Uh, what I really like about this place is they have taken every safety precautions into mind. Uh, as you could see, their seating is planned out perfectly, and the food always tastes good. Uh, she's also someone who doesn't eat any meat, so we are going completely seafood. Yes. I'm going to let you dig into it because we're getting to a break. When we do come back, we have more coming away. Do stick around. It's done on fire. <laughs> Welcome back to the final segment for Dano on Fire, right here on High TV, your luxury channel. We are checking out the curve, and if you can't hear us, I'm very sorry. There's some construction work happening around, and <laughs> that's the noise. All right, we are talking to Sylvia. Cynthia. Cynthia. <laughs> Sylvia is from what? I don't know. It's from um, Madagascar, <laughs> right? Wasn't that yeah, a Sylvia? Yeah, 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 the hippo. <laughs> You did me dirty on TV like this. I'm like, wait, should I even say it? <laughs> But I loved her. <laughs> she was sexy. She was. She was. She was. She was voluptuous <laughs> and nice. Maybe I am. Yeah, yeah. Sylvia, I'm sister. I like rather sisters. play Cynthia in Madagascar than anyone else. Mm, okay, I rather yeah. play the lion, but yeah. <laughs> oh, he is fun. The giraffe is so awkward, though. I know. <laughs> Um, just saying hi on the side here. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so we are talking to. Uh, I lost 
I went to Madagascar yeah. time. But anyway, so uh, you're here for your sister's wedding. Yes, I am. And your sister is there. Yes, she so is. So that's what sort of brought you here. So how connected are you to Sri Lanka? Uh, uh. When you're in the US, do you stay connected to Sri Lanka? Of course. I feel like my culture is such a big part of who I am. I love dressing up in like Punjabis and not even sarees, but Punjabis and Portes. I feel like, yes, I look prettier like that. Yeah. Uh, compared to Western clothes, I have no style. It's so hard to put things together. Punjabi is like tights, the top, you're done. Yeah. You're matching Portes and then you're good to go, yeah. right? Um, and we have family around us and we go to like, you know, people in America, I feel like they're always trying to like start a club or start like yeah. Hamar Sangam yeah. and this and that, you know? <laughs> so you start like a Pongal Let's event. Let's that board, yeah. <laughs> like people here probably don't even celebrate Pongal the way people in America do. Yeah. <laughs> I know that I, I always say like the people who are in other countries are mm -hmm. more Tamil than Tamils yes, here. Because they try to bring it back, yeah, you know? Like on a full on level. Oh, you, have yeah. you seen Canada? They have like Kunar and they, like, <laughs> they get Thanni from there. Like, How can they Kunarify there? I mean, it's so, uh, full of ice. When I say Kinnari is a well, just <laughs> because we have completely <laughs> forgotten what we are doing here. Kinnari is a well. In Jaffna, we used to yes. draw water out of a well. Yes, That's yes, why. yes, yes. Yeah, you know, it was the most common death when I was growing up. Oh, I, wow. Yeah, I went missing once. I actually went to a house close by and my mom thought I'd fall into the well. Oh. She sent people into the well to as well. To go searching. Yeah. With water was this empty? It was water. <laughs> what do you think a well is going to be empty for what? Some Even of them are. People, I thought that's when you said dead too, you know, people yeah. fall into it and it's no, empty no. when they're cleaning. So they thought like I've accidentally fallen in oh. there. But I appeared and when I appeared, my mom was so happy she hammered me. <laughs> Like she yeah, was happy yeah. to have me alive, yes. but it was a, it was a very common death those days. And that makes sense. Yeah, it, they're, they're just open. Like, yeah, it's just open just as a hole in the water. Yeah. Yeah, it was one of those situations. Um, so, what is your future plan? Like, you've got oh. traction on TikTok, you've got traction on Facebook and Instagram. Are you on Facebook so much? Yeah, I'm on Facebook. But Facebook is not big in the US, right? It, it's good for like clubs or like people who want to book you too, compared to like posting and. Yeah, doing we are like still like, like, like near Facebook mm -hmm. in Sri Lanka. We haven't gone. Facebook is a great like source. I would tell, I would never delete it because I'm like it's it's such a large community too because yeah. like there's so many people there. But I'm like yeah, they're not that much young, but like a lot of older people. So yeah. if I want that side, I got them too. I'm gonna talk about you older. Oh. I'm saying they are also on there too. Just, just <laughs> want to clarify that part. All right. So um, any plans of getting into this industry officially? like into makeup, beauty? I do want to. I think I'm happy here. However, I never wanted to get into a, like, I'm doing this as a job, I need to make it happen. I like, I don't want to lose happiness. And that's my biggest thing. Okay. Like even doing makeup, I didn't, I, I never took clients and I started to take them and I was like, no, no, it's too stressful. Yeah, I know. Because I like doing my makeup, I like to have fun. But if it's like your wedding day and I do your makeup and you mess up and you yell at me, like you have a right to yell at me, but I don't like being yelled at, yeah, you know? It's not a nice feeling. Exactly. Yeah. So I was just like, that's not the way for me. I need to figure out something else. And doing makeup the way I do it now, I'm enjoying it. I'm like reviewing products, I'm talking to people, telling them what's good, what's bad, and being like truthfully honest. And like, I know there's so many people who are like, I'm telling the truth, I'm not lying. But mm. like, there is a paycheck behind yeah. that too, you know? But you don't have no paycheck, at least not. Uh, maybe a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I get this is good. <laughs> yeah. This is great. Oh, this is awesome. This is the best step I've ever tried in my life. You need it and she needs it. Use my coupon code, Cynthia. <laughs> If I, you know, you start to hear the coupon code, yeah. then you know, like, then, you know, it's, it's, it's maybe she made like five dollars. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So, uh, tell me the difference between the Tamils in the U.S. and Tamils here. Oh, um, they'll be watching this show. Yes, they will. So, be nice. Tamils in the U.S. I think they're lost. They are because they're trying to figure out who they are. Mm. It is an identity crisis. Hundred yeah. percent. I had myself. Right. I'm like, who do I want to be? Even our parents raising us, they're like Tamil kalatsar and Ipridan. Yeah. But we're really not. So, like, do we dress Western? What are we doing that's Western that we can't do here? What like, happened with Kamala Harris? Oh, some people were like, yes, I was very proud. I think yeah. it's amazing. She's Tamil, like, her long, long, long distance yeah. Tamil. Uh, but you woman. know our people, like, she's a Tamil apa. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, people are really proud of that, and yeah. I think they should be. And then there's a whole other side. They're like, oh, it doesn't matter. She's Tamil. Like, some things that she stands for is wrong, and you shouldn't support her. And it's like, Let's put that aside for a second. I do believe like she's a woman and she's Tamil. Like that is a pretty big accomplishment yeah. compared to anything like nothing at all. Yeah. And then we can think about like politically. Yeah, she might stand for something that you don't support. But that's a whole other conversation. You mm. know, being proud of someone is like it's easy to do. Even, like you, I could be the first Tamil or something. Yeah. And you could be proud of me, but you might think my makeup is ugly. You know, yeah. like so there's you could do th to both of them. Yeah, so it's, it's it's a great thing though. Mm. I just wanted to check on your viewpoints on Kamala Harris because <laughs> everyone who I knew was Tamil was like. 
She also has one foot in Jaffna because apparently uh -uh. her grandfather or something. Have you seen that video of her dancing to like Tamil song? Yeah. It's she's dancing just basically to like an, an, another, another song, event. But, put, like, but the Tamil videos on like any type of song, they put yeah. it on top of that video and they always share like yes, Tamil proud, we are proud, <laughs> we are proud. <laughs> But it's amazing. Mm. All right. Well, thank you so very much for being here uh, thank you. and for having this conversation. Uh, do you have a sweet tooth? Oh, are you kidding? I have these curves for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> you are and I nice. made in heaven. I'm telling you, chocolate. <laughs> oh my god. I know. I know. Uh, well, on that note, we need to wrap things up. Uh, thank you so very much for joining me on the show. Thank you for having um, me. I think your vibe is fabulous. Follow her on Instagram, on TikTok. You'll actually see her work. Um, yes, very rarely we get a chance to like speak to young talent mm -hmm. and talent that needs to be exposed and I really wanted to like speak Thank about Thank you so you. much. Um, so I wish you all the very best and Thank nothing but you. the best. Oh. All right, giving you virtual hearts because of the <laughs> situation. All right, we were, um, and also before we go, pandemic in the US has really changed. Oh yes, it has. You all don't even wear a mask anymore. Um, some Only people choose not to. Yeah, yeah, some people choose not to, but you should still wear it. <laughs> yeah, how has it been here for you? Here, it's interesting because here, I, I know the situation is serious. You wear a mask, simple, you know, but people are like mask here and they're like, hello, how are you? <laughs> Everything's good. And I'm like, you know, COVID Your hello is, is also very tempting. <laughs> hello? <laughs> hello. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. All right, on that note, we need to wrap things up. We will see you soon with another cool episode of Down on Fire. Till then, be safe, be aware of your surroundings, and um, yeah, we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.